Alright, good evening everybody. Welcome back to Tabsoft. So we're doing the uh, reviews for the October 28th NHL games. Uh, so we're going to start off with Ottawa and Pittsburgh. Uh, first period, um, Ottawa opens up the scoring at 424. Um, Riley Gregg scoring from Claude Giroux and Jacob Chikrin on the power play. Uh, Brady Kachuk would have another one for the Senators at 14-14 uh, from Claude Giroux and Tim Stutzla. Second period, Ottawa makes it 3-0. Uh, um, at 5.28, uh, Dominic Kubli from Riley Gregg and Matt Joseph. Um, and then uh, Crosby would answer at 17.34 the second from Russ and Latang. Um, third period, Kachuk would get a second in the game from Stutzla and Hamannick at uh, 13.07. And then Drake Batherson would score from Tarasenko at 13.38. Uh, Jake Gansel had another one for the Penguins at the end. Um, at 19.26 from Crosby and uh, Rudwell. Rudel. Um, Senators take that one 5-2. Um, now we're moving on to Boston and Detroit. Um, so first period Boston up the scoring. Pavel Zaka from Marshawn and Pasternak on the power play at 10.33. Um, then McAvoy would score on assists at 14.36. Second period, no scoring. Third period, uh, Joe Valeno would score for the um, Red Wings to put them within one at 6.40 from Daniel Sprung. Um, Pasternak would add another one on assists on a penalty shot at 11.19 <coughs> of the third. Um, and then Pasternak would add the second of the game on assists into an empty net at 17.41. Um, so Boston takes that one. Alright, so we're moving on to Montreal and Winnipeg. So Winnipeg would open up the scoring. Adam Lowry unassisted on a penalty shot at 428. We'll put the Jets up 1-0. Um, Justin Barry would score for the Habs at 505 from Harry Pinard and Goulet. Um, second period of 15 seconds, uh, Lowry would score again from Niederreiter and Appleton. And then Niederreiter would have one of his own th 33 seconds. Um, from Mason Appleson, and then Sean Monaghan would add one um, at 8.23 uh, from Nick Suzuki and Mike Matheson on the power play. Um, so that evens, nope, that yeah puts Montreal within one. Um, they would score again in the third at 1.54. Uh, Yola and Ria from Caden Gure. Goulet. Names sometimes, but yeah. Um, overtime is solved nothing. Um, and then Suzuki would get the goal to win it in the shootout. Um, so Montreal takes it 4-3. Uh, Maple Leafs and Preds. So first period, uh, Toronto scores 13-32. Uh, William Nylander from Matthews and Marner on the power play. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly would answer at 15-05 from Yuman Yossi and Philip Borzig on a power play as well. Uh, second period. Second period, uh, Giordano would score at 12.46 from David Kempf, and then O'Reilly would go second in the game at 15.08 from Philip Forsberg and Luke Evangelista on the power play. Third period, no scoring. Overtime, Roman UFC would win it at 2.13 from Evangelista and Novak. Preds state that one 3-2 in overtime. All right, Islanders and Blue Jackets. So, the first period, uh, Kyle Palmieri scores for the Islanders at uh, 15.45 from Pierre Engvall and Sebastian Ajo. Um, second period, no scoring. Then the third period, Matt Martin would score from uh, Casey Zizekas at 13.39. New York takes it to nothing. Um, Kraken and Panthers. So, first period, um, Dre McCann would open the scoring for the, pet, for the uh, Kraken from Yanni Gord and Will Borgen at 7.58. Uh, second period, Eli Tolvanen. Eli Tolvanen? Tolvanen um, would extend the lead to uh, 2 at 7.34 from Jaden Schwartz and Will Borgen. Um, Gustav Forzing, of course, would open the scoring for the Panthers at 8.53 of the second from Lundell and Verhege on the power play. Um, Matthew Kuchak would get one at 9.04 from Kulikov and Mikola. And then Nick Cousins would score the game winner at 14.08 at the third from Josh Mahara and Dmitry Kulikov. Panthers take that one 3-2. Alright, Ducks and Flyers. Ducks are actually doing pretty well so far. Who would have thought? 
Okay, um, first period, uh, Ducks up on the scoring, Ryan Strom, uh, 58 seconds from Mason McTavish. Uh, Frank Vichardo won another one for them at 15.20 from Cam Feller and Mason McTavish on the power play. Um, Vichardo goes second of the game in the, third, in the second period at 6.58 um, from the Comb and Strom. Um, Henrik would add another one to put the Ducks up four um, from Max Jones and Jakob Silverberg at 9.30. Atkinson with a score for the Flyers from Owen Tippett and Cam York at 11.49 the second. Connecting with another one at 12.35 from Walker and Lawton. Uh, third period, uh, Z was to score at 2.42 from Strom on the power play. And then the Ducks would add another one, Brett Leeson from Carrick and Johnson at 3.14. Uh, Connecting with a score second in the game for Couture and Brink on the power play at 9.51. Petrano would add another one. Was that his third? No, just the second in the game. Uh, from Henrik, shorthanded at 11 12. And then uh, Yul February would score from Bobby Brink and OK, it's the 17 minutes. But that wouldn't be enough. Ducks take that one, 74. Alright, Golden Knights Kings. So I have the Golden Knights jersey. Um, to start off the scoring, uh, first period, um, Alex Lafreniere, the Ferrier. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, 13 11 was scored for the Kings from Dubois and Matt Waugh, or Matt Roy. Uh, second period, Trevor Lewis would put the, uh, the Kings up 2 0 on a goal at uh, 4 54 from Mikey Anderson and Blake Lazat. Um, at 736, Michael Amaya would score from William Clarkson to put the Knights within one. Uh, William Carrier would score unassisted at 12 57 to tie it up. I believe that was 100th point in the NHL. And then Mark Stone would give the Knights the lead um, at 6.26 from Mark Stone and Theodore on the power play. Um, and then Drew Jetty would tie it up from Fiala and Kempe at 18.57. Overtime was 12 nothing, And uh, Jack Eichel gets the goal in the show to win it. So the Knights up to 8 one one They have not lost in regulation yet, and they have not failed to get a point all season. Let's see with them. All right, this is a back and forth one. Um, Vancouver and New York Rangers. Uh, so first period, period um, Artemi Panarin scores from Vincent Shoshek and Mickey Zibanejad at 9.18 on a 5 on 3 power play. Um, second period, JT Miller would score from Ronick and Patterson on the power play at 15.57. Third period, Myers at 9.06 would score unassisted shorthanded. Um, so putting the Canucks up 2 to 1. Um, Adam Fox would score from Panarin and Zibanejad at 12.21 on another 5 on 3 power play. Um, then Zibanejad would score at 13.24 from Adam Fox on the power play, putting the Rangers up 3 to 2. Um, and then 15.42, Carson Soucy with a blast from the point would tie it up from Ronick and Bovillier. And then overtime, Keandre would score um, from Chris Kreider at 13.48. Um, yes. There's controversy over it. Um, the hockey guy said it looked like a Peter Pepper Patterson toe picked. I'm of the mind that um, there was a skate on skate trip and there should have been a call. But whatever, we got a point. So yeah, we'll see if we can bounce back. Next and bounce back against the Predators on Halloween. I'll be at that game. So should be a good time. Anyways, um, that's it for the 29th. So hit like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys for a review of tonight's games tomorrow. Adios.